So, uh, how did I ever marry you? I think a lot of them are asking that question <laughs> So if somebody is asking that question, you must look at yourself, what's happening with you? Somebody is wondering after many years, how did I ever marry you? You really need to look at yourself <laughs> not previous lives, this life, how you are living. <laughs> so, if any of you, somebody wonders, how did I ever marry you? Don't think of previous lives, you have to see how you are living this life, <laughs> it's very important. <laughs> So, I think this is all Bombay Taki's problem. Janam, Janam, whatever. <laughs> I think in the new movies it's all gone, isn't it? You, you grew up in seventies, eighties movies, so all Janam, Janam business. See all the young people on the new movies, <laughs> they are no more Janam Janam business. <laughs> they are all thinking of relationships, uh, expiry date and <laughs> So if your pursuit for truth is guided by commercial cinema, then <laughs> you're asking for trouble, you know <laughs> So, uh, if the only way you can hold on to somebody is by believing for many lifetimes we've been stuck together, it's a horrible way to live together <laughs> No, I'm with you because I've been here for many lifetimes with you. It's a horrible way to be together, isn't it? I'm with you now because I want to be with you. This is a beautiful way to be with somebody, isn't it? I'm with you because you know last three lifetimes. <laughs> Don't create such horrors in your life, please <laughs> So you've been together for three lifetimes means it's time to part. No? People keep on coming to me, they put me through these works all the time. Sadhguru, was I with you last lifetime? <laughs> Whatever makes you think that if I had seen you in the last lifetime, I would ever come in front of you once again? <laughs> What happened? I'm telling you, what happened yesterday is of no consequence. Now you're trying to create a consequence for what happened, might have happened, you do not even know. What might have happened? Another life. This is like, you know, almost everybody uh, talks about their uh, school life or student life like this, oh, they were the golden years of my life. We know what the golden years were. When you were there, you were tense, you were shit scared of your exams, you hated your teachers and you didn't want to go to school. They were the golden years, now because they're over <laughs> Because you don't have to go to school anymore, they're golden. I think you'll feel that way about your marriage also <laughs> If you feel that way after your marriage, after it is over, it's no good. If you feel that way when it's on, that's great, isn't it? After it's over, you feel, oh, it was so wonderful but, you know, that's no good. If you're feeling that way when it's on, that's great. 
So, don't waste your time digging into the past. I'm telling you this damn memory is crippling you. It is not allowing you to use your mind as an instrument of penetration, as an instrument to open up dimensions of life. Now you <laughs> you want to pick up the whole backlog that other people have forgotten and that's the only way you can relate to your husband or wife. What a pathetic way to relate to people. Don't do that. See if you can find some value in the human being who is sitting in front of you for what he or she is now, not for what they were somewhere. The whole… the whole aspect of modern society today is, we don't value you for who your father was, we value you for who you are. Hmm? You're valued for who you are. That's significant, isn't it? Oh, you, oh, because oh, whose son are you, whose daughter are you, that's not important. Unfortunately, most people are still living in that. Who you are is important, isn't it? Yes? What you made out of yourself now is important. Who your father was is not important. That's the big shift we have made from feudalistic way of living to whatever we call as modern societies. Little chaotic we are, but it's quite a significant step, isn't it? Isn't it so? It's a quite a significant step that nobody asks me who your father is, they're only looking at who I am. Isn't it a very big step? But if you came here fifty years ago or hundred years ago, nobody would look at your face and ask who you are, they would only ask who your father is. Yes? That's changed, significantly changed. So, what were you in your previous life is worse than asking who your father is. <laughs> what are you right now? That's what is most important, isn't it? What have you made out of your life right now? That is the most significant thing. So don't waste your time and life digging into something. 